YouTube, we're going to put a metal tip spear point on this. Here's the part of the hole, right? We drilled that out. This was the garden hole. We showed the end of the other video. What we're going to do is we're going to come back your ways and cut this. Heat this, get it straight, and we're going to grind it to fit in here. That way when we start spot welding with the MIG welder, we'll make sure they're straight. We're going to decide when we're holding on the handle which way we want the point. You know, do we want the point this way or this way? Because there's a screw in there we're going to reuse. Now, when this goes on there, this is solid metal. It hits right here. We're going to put maybe a little rubber washer in there for cushioning. So, the force is transferred from this right to the end of the stick. I made another spiky walking stick here going. I got the spike in it. That's where it contacts all the force. The force does not go up here. I think you know what I mean. So, let's get busy. We won't make this real long because we got a lot of work to do to cut this down and shape this. Notice how it's forged like this, but not like this. We don't really matter about that. We just want it as straight as we can. We're going to leave all this metal on here till last, so we got ways of holding it in the vise and stuff when we weld it. So, let's talk. More work. Okay, we hacksawed just because we felt like a he-man. You know, this is pretty some pretty good steel. That's enough to straighten out, so we're going to heat it up. We're just going to use our uh, map gas torch, you know, the one with the hose. And then whop it on the anvil. We don't feel like throwing it in the wood stove. We don't really want to change what this steel is. This will be cut with a cutter blade though. Save this stuff. Don't throw it away. Find you a junk can. You don't know what you might use this for someday. Uh, that's a nice little piece of steel. If you was blacksmithing, you definitely would save that. That's some pretty good metal right there. So don't, don't throw away recyclable parts. Okay, we got a long ways to go, but we got it straight. Now we're going to grind and file it to fit in the hole. So it only has to just go in there, what, I got it like, so going to like not even a half inch. Just to hold it nice and straight where I want it before I put my tack welds on. So it's worth the effort to do this. Alright, off to do some grinding. Okay, it ain't pretty, but it works. So good it was stuck on there. We're only gonna do one spot weld. We'll turn it to bass, get it to straight we straight as we can, all that other good stuff. Okay, with a half a dozen big spot welds. We did like one side, the other side, then do in between. And this wasn't perfectly clean metal. It's really not clean enough to be gas welding. MIG. Wire with gas. Everybody calls it different names. Uh, let's see. You see that brown glob of the flux stuff? Like it brought some rust out. Because that flux normally doesn't really look that color, but... Good penetration. I had the welder cranked all the way at the max on five. And got some wet. We ground it out here with our clamp. We kind of clamped it on our vise out there and turned it different ways. But there. We're going to take the four and a half inch grinder, take the big crap off. I said a nasty word. She's about the only swear word I say, it, say in my videos. It's pretty crappy. And then after we get the big junk off, we're going to drill it. We want this to look nice. We want it to kind of look like it was hand forged. and You know what I mean? We want it to look nice. We're going to have the rest of our life. And we determined it doesn't matter which way it's on here, which way you hold the spear. So I'm going to leave this big till I'm all done so I can hang on to it and everything. And then I'll cut the design to it. Cut it down smaller. How we had the masking tape. So, too much talking. Let's get to work. Notice I just clean it up to get it welded, get that part done. 
because I'm gonna have the door open doing that, and it is chilly out and wet. It tried snowing last night, but it rained, and well, it did snow about a quarter of an inch, and it melted. We're stalling. Get to work. Got to go to work. Yes, we do. We'll get there. I wait for somebody to say he's rambling on again. Okay, here's the part where I get all grumpy and bossy. Don't get carried away with a grinder, because then you're going to make a mess. I'd rather spend an hour with a Dremel than sit there and try to mess, fix something I messed up. This is solid metal, clear back in here, where the wood goes. Don't ask me how to do it, but it is solid. Trust me, I drilled into it. There. It's going to have to be Dremel, because you're gonna get it, not going to get near the bench grinder. So, here we go, we're going to go do some work. So I'm leaving this big end on here until I'm ready to cut it, design it. Okay, we're going to spend some Dremel time. Let's snap a photo with the welds like this. I said this is all solid, so you can grind in it, taper it as much as you want. You can do whatever you want with it. So I'm hopefully I can get rid of that little hole there. It's the only problem I see. Okay, back to work. I'm not really grumpy and bossy. Ask the neighbor kid when he comes over. <laughs> Oh, it ain't fun. I don't want to do it. Well, it ain't pretty, but it looks okay. That's five of those discs stacked together. And you can do all kinds of stuff. You could go like this, like a flapper disc would be, or DA, whatever they call it. You can go like this, you can go on the edge. Uh, you can go just flat. And I kind of do an X pattern. I kind of went like this and then like that. And then this way, I mean, I went every direction to shape it. This side's kind of odd, because how that's forged on there. So if you look at kind of offsets, it's not perfectly straight. It does not matter. I want to kind of look crude hand forged. Not to disrespect the blacksmiths back then, but stuff was made crudely. I mean, it was hammered and heated and when they welded metals together. So look... Imagine that with some black paint on it. You can still see a line of the weld. That's not a crack. I had somebody jump on me about brazing one time. That is not a crack. That's just where the weld ended. You know what I mean. Now we're going to sand flapper this, this whole thing, mark out, and cut what size point we want. See? Save that to last. You can hold stuff in a vise. Here we go. Back to work. Okay, here's the what should I do or what could I do part. This is all just drum sander up in here. Should I try to polish this with my abrasive wheel? I can't use that scrubby one. It'll leave two deep scratches. But we'll go over and clean it up on there. Like I said it's going to be a tool. It's not doesn't. It's not a uh, going to go in the parade or something. It can be pretty wicked. It's not going to have a knife edge on it. It's going to be like that. It'll just be for a walking stick. And if I want to stick it in the ground, pick up trash with it. So it's got that weird... See how it almost bows up on the right side, how this is made? It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be. Okay, we're going to take some abrasive wheels, then we're going to stick it on the end of the stick so you can see what it looks like, and then we're going to call it done. Well, we did it again. We got carried away, and this is what happened. We buffed it with everything we had. We even put a stainless screw in there. It's got threads not like a wood screw, but I tried to chop part of it off, but it's stainless, so it won't rust. One thing about clear is it'll show every pit that you missed will show up darker actually. So there you go. And if you seen see the video on the handle, you'll know what the handle really looks like, how I repaired it. So there we go, nice spear point. This is about two and three quarter inches long, starting from here, and it's about two inches wide. So 
Nothing special. It is a tool, but maybe that clear will last a while and won't rust. Oh, and I sprayed primer in here. Then I uh, laid it up on the wood stove and let it bake. So the primer would dry. So that's it. We're done. We're out of here. And thank you for watching. I hope this wasn't too long. And this is just that stuff I found at a dollar store. It is good paint. That's that brand I used for the blue on that punch. Uh, it runs like three something cans. This is probably like 375 or something. But it's worth it because it's got the old school spray top. You can see it in there. You know what I mean? The old, the old school. I only got one hand here. so you, you can turn the can upside down and clear it. That's what I'm trying to say. It ain't like that one brand where they clog. Okay, thanks for watching.